extra, read all about it. Libra, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an energy reading. So it has no time frame and it has no specifics in, term of, in terms of sun, moon, rising. This is for wherever, 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 wherever Libra influences your life, you can apply it, whether it's inside your natal chart or external to you because you're dealing with a Libra. Now, I do create a new Libra specific week ahead video every single week. So if you subscribe to the channel, not only do you help the channel grow, but you can ring that bell and you can get notified when I upload the latest content. So please click subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's get into it, Libra. There's always an extended that comes from this reading. Um, that link is in the description box below. It's a full tarot card spread that goes into specifics and personalizes this reading and expands upon it. And it includes a romance specific reading. So if you're looking for romance specific, then definitely go grab that extended as well. Libra. Claim your independence. This tells me you're going to land on your feet. If things have been weary, maybe you've been struggling. This is a sense of being aloof or becoming more aloof, standing apart and separate and being more of an objective observer right now. Um, emotional distancing. <laughs> Let's do that. Whole new hashtag, Libra. Hashtag emotional distancing, not just social distancing. Looking at things from afar. Look at the look on this cat's face. He's happy and he's free because he is removed. He's not saying anything. Cats are very quiet. They observe and they, they, like, they have that that sharp, intense glare, because yes, they are focused and yes, they are paying attention, but they are also removed. They're, they're not engaging. They are only going to engage when they're ready to pounce. And so Libra, this is your time to get ready to pounce. This is your time, a little bit of a, a reprieve for you. You have just landed on your feet. If this is a recent fall, you have landed on your feet and you have decided to take yourself a few steps back to A, feel more secure and not so, I guess, emotionally trodden on and B, to get a better glimpse of the circumstance or situation that you're dealing with. This is very Aries energy. Putting the self first which is very different for you. But I don't think that you're necessarily putting the self first as you're just deciding to put the self somewhere and, and to make sure that you're protecting yourself. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like self-defense, but I don't think that it's shutting down. It's sort of just an energy of, uh, hmm, and quiet and let things play out. Watch and wait. What do you see? I think that that's the best stance for you right now. And for some reason, that's the one that you've decided to take. This could mean on the larger scale, Libra, that you have finally broken free from whatever emotional tethers had wrapped around you. A sense of no more, no more emotional tethers. This is just me making a decision that I have to be secure right now. So it doesn't necessarily have to be in your relationship. It could be a relationship with a job. It could be a relationship with worries or struggles or fears. This is a sense of being emotionally aloof right now. Let's get into the reading. Ooh, you see clearly now, this is another distant observer. This is Aquarius energy. This is another, you're not going to see me. You've gotten wise. Think about it, the wise old owl. You can see in the dark. You see it now. It's all of a sudden you've realized what's going on. Because you've sat silent. Ooh, because you made them not know you were there. In, in making them not know you were there, almost being like fly on the wall, quote unquote. But making them forget that you were there, you found out what you needed to find out. 
And this was a sense of not, not getting wise. Yes, getting wise, collecting information, seeing clearly, seeing in the dark, seeing the truth, because this is Aquarian energy and knowing through experience the way to go. So this is a situation or a circumstance that you that's burned you before and it's not going to happen again. Now you know not only how to keep yourself out of trouble, but in a sense, this could be a consolatory energy of how to keep other people out of trouble or how to advise somebody how to stay out of trouble. Time for a deep dive. Love. So this is romance. As, as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's almost like you can see in a distance that there's love up ahead and normally you would jump right into it or jump right at it. But, and, and love, I don't do a romance reading intentionally over here, but this is definitely romantic energy. That's what this card is for me in my deck. It's, it's Libra energy. It's your energy showing up. And that's that sense of loving life and feeling full of life. This is La Vie en Rose card. A beautiful, beautiful life. But I think that now you're seeing clearly, you're seeing through the, the, the rose-colored glasses. That's what, it, that's what this is telling me. You're seeing through the rose-colored glasses. You may be e even seeing the darkness through the rose-colored glasses. You see through it. You see through all the hype. You see through all the glitz. You see through all the glamour. You see through all the BS. You see through all the prettiness and the perks and the perfection. You get it now. And this is definitely something that you had to land on your feet from. But in taking that stance, now you want to build a solid foundation. This is Virgo energy. This is a sense of with this wisdom and with seeing clear, now that you've seen clearly, it's like you've been able to prospect the land clearly and you know where to put your foundation. Because I think either that's what you're doing now or it's what you want. This is the energy of six. This is the energy of six too. 66, very loving energy. Six plus six equals 12. And that adds up to three. Very balanced, happy, healthy energy. You're not going to be, you're not making the same mistake again. You're going back. You're seeing, it's like, it's like I know now. It's like knowing now that you're not going to go into the first job interview and get the job. Knowing now that a long-term relationship isn't all rose petals and champagne. It's, it's, it's that you see clearly, you see through all the, you know, the glamour. And then you see the rough stuff. But, you, but because of it, you know exactly how to build. What did I say? You could architect this now. You could literally be your own architect now. Because you know, uh I know what quicksand looks like. You know that scene from um, Princess Bride? I've used it as an example on other videos. There's that sense of where the Dread Pirate Roberts or Wesley tells uh, Buttercup, he's like, listen, we could set up a house in here now because we, 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 we know the three biggest dangers. We've experienced them. We've lived through them. And now we know how to avoid them. So that's what this is. It's like I see clearly now through all the romance through all the fairy tale i know exactly what this stuff is i know exactly what the hard work is and it's almost like okay instead of getting emotionally carried away of oh this isn't exciting or this isn't you know this isn't beautiful enough no this is real so this is a sense of getting down and getting real and not being scared of it and in fact actually getting a sense of solid ground from it sweet results await this is your sensual energy you have been working extremely hard to produce something and make something sweet. And whatever that, you, that, that you've been working hard on, it has been worth it. It has been, this is your central energy of knowing that it's worth it. This is also, once again, Leo energy, which is also energy of the heart. Something has mattered a great deal to you and you have worked tirelessly to make it work, to make it successful. Whether people acknowledge it or not, you've been up to it. Bees only get honey after they've worked really, really hard. And it's also a sense of you're not doing this alone. Whether you're a queen bee or the worker bee, you're still working in conjunction with others, which is perfect for your energy. But I almost feel like you're overseeing the production, more like a queen bee. You're overseeing, you're, you're, you're stepping back and you're just making sure that somebody puts everything into the right places. Not in a dictatorship way, but almost in uh, your giving advice trying to keep somebody out of the pitfalls, you know, trying to help somebody, um, trying to be somebody's GPS through the fire swamp, you know? Uh, know your own worth. 
really tired of having to cover up your stink. Really like laying down all kind like this is I know you love to be dolled up. I know you like the perfume and to look beautiful, especially during quarantine. I feel like you're just that shit. Forget about it. Forget about it. No, forget about it. Forget about it. You're like Okay, I haven't showered in three days. Like, it's like you're just done. You're like, this. no, it can't be about, like, you, you're going to love me, you're going to love me when I'm ugly. You're going to love me, you're going to love me when I stink a little bit. I'll take a shower eventually. This is also revealing, it could be revealing a stinker, but, <laughs> but that's what it is. But it's a sense of, um, in this reading, I feel like it's more just taking off, like I said in the beginning, taking off the glamour. Getting raw, getting real, and liking yourself that way. This and that are true. Playful, being remaining playful, remaining spirited. I almost feel, I almost feel Libra like this is advice. Like you're going through a circumstance and you're like, how the fuck am I supposed to deal with this? And this is how you're supposed to deal with it. You're supposed to remain objective, remain a blue, aloof, see through things, through, see through all the BS, take away all the glamour, don't get caught up in the glamour, don't need it, don't require it, don't try to hide in it yourself. No, 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 no. This is the murky period. I'm just going to accept the murky period and keep directing the traffic, right? When it's foggy out, I got to go slower. I understand that. I know I can't put, turn on my, my bright lights because it will blind somebody. Like, I know how to get through this. So there's not much worries. If, if you are keep it real, then you'll be able to just go really lightly this week. Have it really easy, really playful. Stay on the surface. Now is a lucky time. Abundance is coming towards you. You could be multiplying. Because uh, a dolphin can be a sign of um, fertility as well. Oh, let me tell you something. If you've been trying to make a baby, I'm telling you, this is a great energy to actually make a baby in. Because it's like, ease up on it. Like, go back. Like, 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 let's not, let's not be so intense about it, you know? Or let's just get raw. Right? Like, why, we don't have to light the candles. That kind of energy of just, like, getting raw with somebody. That's that energy, too. You're multiplying your abundance. Sweet results await. Yes, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. You might not be unscathed. You might get through it with, like, no makeup and, like, a uh, darkened tooth. But <laughs> there's a sense of you're going you're gonna to skip over this. You're going to get through it. Think on your feet, the energy of nine. Something is coming out that you're going to have to be very malleable with. And that's that grounding energy that's coming through for you this week, Libra, is be improvising. This is Sagittarius energy. In order for the chaos to not get to you, you have to just not expect anything and almost be looking or thinking two steps ahead. And let whatever happens to you, happens to you. Because if you get too deep and dig too deep, there's a sense of, or, no, 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 not dig too deep. Because you do want to lay that solid foundation. Let me not mess up my metaphors. But not expect too much. That's how you get through this week. Fox energy is an energy that, that, re, that tells us we're going to have to be flexible. We're going to have to have a really malleable mind. And the only way to do that is to not expect. Now you have Gemini energy. Life is speeding up. It's grounding you. It's you want things to move fast. There is there is a sense of you 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 don't in order to move things along. You may be letting a lot slide. But not the important stuff. I do have to say that. Because build a solid foundation wouldn't be here if you were letting the important stuff slip. It's almost like to let to build the solid foundation, you have to let the particulars slip. You have to stop nitpicking or let go of the nitpicking. Or you wish somebody would let go of the nitpicking for you and be like, understand and see it's not important. Why are you doing this? Why are you acting like this? This isn't the important stuff. What the important stuff is we've got. You are never alone. This is love. 
also an energy of six. This sense of togetherness, connection, healing, health. Let me see what this last card is. Clearing out the clutter. This is a sense of, of there's, there, there may be a lot of chaos going around. You're not really sure about your health right now. That kind of energy of whatever you don't need around you, whatever garbage is around you, whatever isn't serving you, almost like clearing out your closets. I know like you may be letting your hair die, like, like uh, wear out, but it's like you're also, I don't know, it's like you're trying to take care of yourself better. A sense of getting rid of the things that you don't need. Like there's... There's like all those details. That's what it is. It's like you're seeing through the, the frivolous this week. All those details that don't matter, you're getting rid of it. You're letting it go. Because you, you need to get rid of some sort of energy. Either it was a leftover or residual energy from an old relationship or an old disappointment, past job or something. Or it's, it's the muck that's messing up your current relationship. You got to take it out. You got to carry it out. Like that could be why your hair is all a mess and you're sweaty and stinky because you've been cleaning out the closets for so long. Like that's your project. You, if you feel like maybe you're nesting, you maybe you just want to prepare for something, clear out room, this is a great week to do it. Like get all the gunk out and get to the heart of what really matters because a lot of stuff was like shallow and there was too much BS in the way of the real. And now you're getting back to the real. And, 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 and it's like you realize that. And it's like, now let's dig. Let's, let's find the, what do you call it? The beams in the walls. Let's find the studs. Let's see where the real foundations are here. And let's prioritize them. Let me flip this camera around. Hold on. Okay. So, do you see how this, your central energy is self-assuredness? This Leo energy of, you know what matters now. You're not afraid of the hard work because you know the real stuff, the raw stuff, and the hard work gets you what you want. The honey is very sweet. It's going to be flowing. And it's almost internal honey. Maybe somebody has tapped into your internal honey. But this is more a sense of this. there's a beauty coming that you never really saw. Why? Because you're clearing out all this clutter around here. You're seeing through all the superfluous. It's like, you know, when you hit an oil well, it's dirty, it's gross, but it's like a billion dollar find, discovery, right? That's that sense of, of, of sifting through and seeing what's really important. Like knowing the rhinestones from the diamond. Knowing how to get rid of all the stuff, like even if it doesn't look good, even if it doesn't look like something special, you're able to discern it and see it. And you're not just, you're being like picky like a cat. You're not just picking up anything this week. You're, you're looking. It's like before you decide to take a job, you're going to invest, you're going to, you're going to investigate how its stocks are doing. Call up a few people to see, you know, uh, how long generally people work there and how the salaries are. You know, you're not, you're not just jumping into something. You're not going to see, you're going to see through all the BS promises so that you can be discerning and pick out, pick out the right one. The one that's going to make things easiest for you. Keep things lightest for you because part of it is to not have to keep being so heavy, to get rid of the heaviness and get back to a place where you can focus on those things that you care about. Let me see what's going on. Um, I want to I wanna go over to the extended. Let me, let me suck out more details and go into your romance reading, Libra. I will see you guys over there.